Hi, and thanks for joining us today. We're going to be taking a look at how to FTP files from your computer to your web host's web space. In order to accomplish this, you're going to need a piece of software. We recommend WinSCP. It's free, it's portable, and it's lightweight, which means that the download size is about 2 megabytes in size, it installs quickly, and, uh, and it's very easy to use. The interface is very user-friendly. Um, if you want to get this piece of software, you go to winscp.com. The spelling is at the top left of this window here, winscp.com. Once you start installing this, it'll ask you at some point if you want to use Explorer Style View or Norton Commander View. I would like you to choose Norton Commander because this is what we're going to be using for this tutorial. Once you've installed it, launch winscp. You'll find yourself in this window here. If not, you'll find yourself in the next one. So to get to the next one, we click New since we're setting up a new FTP uh, account. So we click New, and it brings you to the Session dialog box. You'll notice the first thing you can notice here that I'd like you to pay attention to is the protocol. File protocol is defaulted to SFTP. So click on the drop-down, and you'll notice three options. SFTP for Secure File Transfer Protocol, SCP for Secure Copy Protocol, and FTP for File Transfer Protocol. So what I'd like you to do is select FTP. Please disregard the insecure message on the right hand side of your protocol. It is insecure, but as long as your password is hard to guess, you should have no problems with this at all. So what you're going to do is focus on the host name box. So click in that box. The host name is your domain name. It has to be set up. So for this tutorial, we're going to use boxadmins.com. This is our mother company. Port number 21. This is the default public port for FTP. However, your web host might do things differently and you may need to change this. If not, 21 should be fine. Your username should already be handy when you're using this tutorial. It may be a cPanel or Plesk username. It may be a Linux username, a Linux system username. It may be an email address. It all depends on how your FTP account was set up. For our purposes, we run cPanel. So we're going to use the cPanel username of our account. You can type your password in here. So let's do that. Once you've done this, you've filled out all the important fields to connect to an FTP service. Click on Save at the bottom of your screen to save this session. This makes it easy to access in the future without having to retype everything. Now, you'll notice that you can save the password since you typed it in, but it's not recommended. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will not save the password. It's a more secure practice to retype or copy paste your password in every time you use it. So you'll just click OK. Now you'll notice you're in the stored sessions dialog here. So if you wanted to connect to another of your websites with another FTP username and password, you can click new and start the process over and it will add it to your stored sessions window. But for this tutorial, we're going to try connecting to the FTP. So we're going to double click and you'll notice the dialog changes to a password confirmation dialog box prompting me for credentials. It already has the username, so the password is going to I have to retype the password in. Remember, we didn't save it. Once you do this and click okay, it should log you into your web space and you should see the window change. It may also prompt you if you're on Vista, uh sorry, if you're using Windows Vista, it may prompt you to um let this through the firewall because it opens ports on your computer to connect so you may have to go through that dialogue we've already done it in a previous session so we don't have the opportunity to show you what it looks like now so what you'll do is you'll click OK and we'll hope for no error messages excellent so if everything went well you should now be connected the dialogue box will get bigger and you will be connected to um, your web space. So you'll notice on the left hand side you're in an Explorer style interface here. On the left hand side is your local computer. You can see the path to where you're currently uh, where you currently are on your computer. On the right hand side you're in your web space um, because you've connected there. Now you need to go to your document root folder in your web space. For example we're using a cPanel server so it's the public HTML folder so we'll double click that and you'll notice we have uh, our space here you have you may have files there already or you may not so what you're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to upload so for this tutorial on our local computer I have a folder called WinSCP tutorial within this folder I have a file called index.php 
Now I want to put index.php on my local computer onto our web space. So I just simply click it, drag it over, drop it. It'll ask me copy file index to remote directory and then there's a few options. We just use the default ones. You can check not to show this dialog again if you don't want to see this again. Then you click copy and there you have it. The file is in your web space. So that's pretty much it. That concludes uh, the tutorial. Um, if you guys have any questions with regards to this tutorial, uh, feel free to reply uh, to the YouTube video. We'd be happy to, uh, to assist you if ever you have any further questions. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.